Welcome back to my channel Joy in Life. Um, today I'm going to uh, unbox this with you. That is what I promised to do and I so wanted to play with it a little bit more and that's why I decided to do it today. Um, I know that a lot of us are staying at home uh, lately. Uh, we have to isolate ourselves from others. Um, so I decided to socialize with you a little bit, maybe tell you a little bit about myself and also um, talk a little bit about the current situation. So let's open this first and then we will start talking about other things. So this is the set that I showed you in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video, you can click on it and um, I'm going to have the link somewhere at the corner. <laughs> All right, so this is really exciting. So let me open this with you like this. Ta all right, so it will take me some time to um, unwrap all those. And so we'll be talking while I'm doing that. So um, let's see, if I do it this way, you'll be able to see it. Yep, you will still be able to see it. So, okay, so let me um, start by talking to you, uh, telling you a little bit about myself. Um, I am... Um, from Hong Kong originally and now I live in uh, the US and so lately uh, there are a lot of things happening you know all over the world and um, we are not going to talk about that because you know I want my videos to not stress you out but <laughs> uh, to give you a break from the world so um, yeah, so let me continue to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I uh, have a PhD in psychology and um, that's my passion to, you know, uh, help people out uh, in any way I can, um, talk to them about um, different, uh, different ways of dealing with uh, their own situations. Um, and things like that and that is uh, part of my profession as well um, but I decided to have a YouTube channel just because um, I I love the interaction with people and uh, sometimes when I get things that are really cool I want to share with people um, I personally watch a lot of YouTube videos uh, when I'm not working so then I can um, de-stress a little bit uh, because my job is pretty stressful uh, and uh, also learn from other people or you know see all the cool things uh, that people are showing um, so I, I, I love watching these videos I feel like um, even just watching unboxing videos is really soothing um, so let me organize this in a better way so I will know which one goes first so I will mix the color up later on um, Normally what I would do is um, after I unwrapped every single one of them, I'm going to um, write it down. I'll use a marker to write it down on the pen. Uh, and this is full pen. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember if I told you in the last video why I ordered full pen instead of a uh, half pen. Um, because that is because I really, um, check the price and it's not a huge huge difference uh, if you can get it you know on sale uh, uh, between like there's not much a price difference between the two because uh, one I can only get it in the US and then the other one I can get it somewhere else so that is a little bit cheaper so you know it's it's really good it's e really easy to open I may um, you know later on speed up this video so that I won't bore you to death because that would be too long way too long because I plan to uh, open all this with you guys and then um, do the swatching so probably what I'll do is I'll pause the video later on and put down all the names uh, so when I swatch it I can tell you you know what color it is or at least you know at the end if I don't tell you every single one of them because that will be boring as well um, at least I can show you the end product uh, with all the names and everything at the end so that's what I plan to do 
So, yeah, so um, I am a self-taught artist. Um, I uh, sell my things online and I, uh, I'm selling it at a store as well, like a consignment store. Uh, but my aim of opening that company and, you know, really like having everything out is not, um, you know, just for the business, but I want to spread the joy and help other people um, to give them courage, basically. So I have a few different series on my um, on my website and the things that I do, and I'll have the link down below so you can check it out. Um, basically, my idea is that um, if you don't step forward to do things that you like or you love, um, you'll never get there. You know. Um, however, if you are willing to try, even if like it's it's a small step, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes you may you may not um, succeed in anything that you do, but does it really matter? Uh, I feel like. Um, at least in the American culture and in a lot of modern cultures, uh, we focus too much on being successful, um, being okay, like, am I really doing really well? And who is there to judge, you know, uh, really? A lot of pressure that we have uh, um, come from ourselves, and um, we should focus more, much more, on the journey uh, when you are doing the thing that you love instead of the end result, you know, even if we are uh, doing Bible journaling, right, or we are journaling in general, like art journaling, uh, when we are painting, when we are, you know, doing whatever, if you don't love the process of it, you just want the end result, you're losing a big part of your life, right, um, the end result, maybe you can enjoy it for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, one day, two days, a week, a month, it's not going to last long, but if you enjoy what you're doing every single day, and even if you know it's a really simple job you can still find a way to enjoy it right because if you have to do it anyway why not try it try to enjoy it a little bit more um, so in that way um, I would say every day of your life you will be a little bit happier um, I've seen some for example I love Dollar Tree um, so I go there pretty often, especially one of the stores. And there is a really enthusiastic uh, cashier. I, I just love her because she is always so cheerful and she'll be like, hi, how are you doing? Like really upbeat and all that. Yes, I understand, you know, not everybody is like that. But I mean, um, what I see in her is that she really, really enjoys her work um, there. So I think that makes a difference. Um, and even like you don't have that kind of energy to do all that, that is, that is not the point. The point is like how you can um, enjoy your life. You know, it's not for other people to see or, you know, it's not even for other people. It's just basically for yourself. So I hope that I can encourage you um, in some way. You know, I don't know how, but <laughs> if I can, I, I'll be really happy to do so. Um, I would also like us to be like a small community. If you want to leave some comments below, um, you know, on um, what is bothering you now uh, with the situation, with the virus going on around the world, uh, what is bothering you at the moment, what are your priorities, what are, you know, um, things that you're worrying about, uh, maybe your loved ones, maybe, you know, uh, people who you know that have a really a, a compromised uh, immune system, anything you know leave a comment down below i want us to be a community that we can talk we can share our worries and we can even pray for each other you know um so you know hopefully you'll leave something down below we can all talk about it um for me it's not easy because i have my uh, full-time job and um uh for my job basically i can do almost every single thing i do here um, just in a different format, I can do it at home. So the downside about it is that uh, it's going to be a little bit harder just because uh, I have my daughter who's uh, 10 years old, so I have to constantly remind her, okay, now it's time for you to catch up on this and do that and, you know, whatsoever. And uh, usually when I'm at work at lunch, I usually... Um, 
take the lunch break that one hour to do my own thing i will be like painting usually i'll be painting or drawing or uh, watching some uh, youtube videos uh, but I can no longer do that when I'm home because I have to cook for her. I have to cook for myself as well. Um, usually I have like really simple lunch and I can finish it in a few minutes. But, in, you know, when, when she's home, I can't do that. So that is hard. But I'm positive about this situation. I feel like um, after this, probably a lot of us uh, can refocus. We will find out what is more important in our lives. Um, in the past, we don't have time. We don't. We don't even have time to sit down and think and um, do a lot of things. And now, it seems like the world is forcing us to rethink our future, rethink our priorities. What is important? What is not important? And um, yeah, I hope that by the end of this, you know, when it all ends, we will all set our priorities straight. We know what is more important to us and. In that sense, we can um, arrange our time a little bit differently and um, do things that is important to us more. And the other thing is, um, I sincerely believe that um, a lot of us miss our work families, right? So we'll be really thankful when we go back to work. Um, and the other thing is, you see it both ways, but I feel like um, in the last, most parts, I see that the community is coming together as a whole. Um, of course, you know, there may be more other things happening in the world that is not as nice, but I always believe that there are more good people out there than bad people in the world. So I really believe that something good is going to come out of this, you know, um, and I see that in my own local community. Is really touching. People are really um, jumping into helping uh, others. Uh, when the the kids were saying, like when the uh, governor is saying that there would be no school for students, uh, they haven't even uh, talked about the details for uh, you know uh, lunch for people who cannot afford it. And yet, um, in this area, a lot of uh, restaurants really um, took the chance and uh, offer free meals to the students, to the kids. So I feel like, wow, you know, really, um, this is a really great community and I'm fortunate to be part of this. All right, enough talking. I guess I will um, just film it without any sound. Uh, I mean, I will put some music out there. <laughs> so I will speed this up so then you won't be bored to death and then we'll come back and do the swatch together.
So this is the last one. I'm going to slow it down again and uh, just to show you what it really looks like. And I realized that I didn't even say what it is at the beginning of the video. Um, it's a set of Schumacher full pan, um, 48 colors uh, with this um, ceramic palettes. And there are two brushes. And I really like it because they are uh, Da Vinci oh, series. I, I like their uh, brushes. Um, I have good results with them, so I love using them. So it is really good because at first I thought that I had to go back and put in um, all the information on each single one of these pans, but you see that there is like um, the number here. Um, so I don't have to do that. I won't be afraid that it will be mixed up with another color. If I need to later on, I can always refer to the color chart online and I will be able to find it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put this aside, uh, set it up a little bit differently uh, so then you'll be able to see uh, when I'm uh, swatching the colors. So um, this set come with um, this piece of paper there, like a pre... Um, I, I, it, it feels like a watercolor paper and it will only make sense <laughs> if it is. Um, so yeah, it also tells you how to do it. Um, do the wash and then uh, remove the uh, excess water from the brush and then throw it from, uh, just you know, use the water to make it from dark to light. So that is what it's saying. I don't know. I'll see how I do it. I'll do it, just do it the normal way I do it. Um, I feel like it's really uh, soothing to do swatching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for the video, uh, set this up, probably spray some water on it to activate it, and then I'll be right back. So hi, I'm back. So um, you can see that my palette is a little bit dirty because I was tempted to try this out. And so this is what I tried out, like just a simple wash. And I will go, um, I'm going to do some painting on it later on. This is just like the, the, um, the wash for the first layer. And I tried to use this um, to do the swatch, but the paper, uh, you know, quality is not as good. And I wanted to um, be consistent with what I've been doing. So instead, what I did was I made these cards. So I'll show you how to use it in a minute. And I actually learned it from um, another YouTuber. And she has this card. Uh, for every single set of her uh, watercolor so you can see how it works so basically um, you just have a basic wash here if you need more color just make more color on it and then um, there's another deeper line here like the marker line is here so paint on it to see if it's transparent or not so then when you are picking on the uh, picking up a color you can uh, you know know exactly what you're getting at and here is uh, again like another uh, layer of color to see if uh, it's more intense what it will look like. So this is like a um, The original color with more water more water more water and then here another layer of the same color so you can see how it works So uh, as you can see I have many sets <laughs> So later on I may uh, have another video uh, to fit through this with you um, and tell you like which set I like better, but actually I like them all because um to me, uh, choice is very important, so um, I'd rather have more choices than not. Maybe that is not the best mentality just because, you know, it can be hard at times. Um, when you have too many choices, you don't know. Uh, but me, is like, um, I don't really um, look at that to pick which set I want to use. I, I don't look at my cards. Usually what I do instead is I just um, go in pick which set I want to use today and then I pick from there. So that may make it a tiny bit easier. So uh, I'm going to swatch this with you uh, while we talk. So let me see. I'm going to get something to cover that up. This is for my last video. So I'm going to just simply do this. So let me open my border, jars. 
and spray some water to this set. So I hope all of you are holding up um, nicely in this situation. Uh, yes, you know, we have to isolate ourselves, but um, there are still many things that we can do, right? So I promise I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I want this uh, video to be really relaxing to you. Um, so let's do this together. I don't know if I'm going to spread up, spread it up later on, but I feel like it is showing to um, just even see people's watch. I like to see that. So I'll decide later on, but anyhow, I'm going to um, put on some background music for all of you. It's actually really shimmery. I don't know if you can see that. It is really shimmery. I decide to um, just change my color before I go on to the next one. Um, just because if it's shimmery, I don't know if it will affect all other colors, so I don't want that. So I'll be right back. So I'm back with clean water, <laughs> and that is important.
basically is um, pretty easy. Um, I'm lazy, you know, the original method, you should be, um, you know, writing down all those information. But since I have the wrapper here available, um, so I just tape it on. So what I did was I cut um, this card into, um, I believe this is two and a half by three, two and a half inch by three inch. And it will fit in this kind of um, collector's card slots. You can buy them really uh, inexpensively on Amazon or anywhere, basically, um, like Home Depot. I mean, Home Depot, uh, Office Depot, or uh, Staples. They will have it. So what you do is you use um, this type of ruler. Um, just put it here, and then uh, use a marker. Uh, make sure that it's waterproof. <laughs> So you can use um, Sharpie. I use Sharpie all the time. And just make a line here. That's it. So you can cut all of them. Um, just pop it by putting the line there and you're done. So that is really easy to make. Um, so I guess uh, you can all try it if you want. But I'm going to link the, uh, uh, put the link down below as well. So um, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, our emotions and I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, how we should be or how we can, I should say, like deal with our emotions. I guess um, there are a lot of unknown, right? And that is the hardest to deal with. However, I feel like um, one thing that we can all do is try to make the most out of our days is because how it is uncertain is because of the uncertainty we want to even make it better right um, spend time with your family spend time with uh, you know you know even if you cannot spend with time uh, your to uh, spend time with your family in person um, FaceTime you know uh, um, zoom you know Skype whatever mean you can use um, I feel like that is still valuable, right? Um, and I always uh, tell my clients, say like, when they miss their family, uh, what they can do is really like you can even like when you are not even in the same country or if there are time difference or whatever, you can still have lunch date with them. Uh, you know, maybe it's your dinner and their breakfast. It doesn't matter. Just you know, spend some time together, talk to them. Um, do things that you like to do, um, taking it one day at a time. And um, one thing that is important too is to acknowledge your feeling. Um, give yourself the permission to feel vulnerable, to feel um, stressed. You know, acknowledge it first. It is okay. We are human beings, right? And we do have our emotions and that is okay. Um, it's just a matter of how... Uh, after we acknowledge it, how we are going to deal with it. If you don't acknowledge it, you don't even know what you are dealing with, that will be the hardest. So um, I hope you will, you know, enjoy this kind of video um, that is soothing to you, you know, just um, spend some time to do things that you like, uh, no matter if it's art, crafts, or even reading or i love reading i love books <laughs> or even uh reorganizing your house right um just make the most out of the day as much as you can um do something to distract yourself you know that's part of it as well you know that that may help there is also a link on um how we can deal with our emotions online uh, i'm going to put it in the description down below so you can get some tips from there as well so all right for this one i'm not going to do it just because you know it's just the agent i'm not going to uh, swatch it so what i want to do now is i'm going to put it in the right order and I'm going to show it to you
not all at the same time, but um, maybe six or 12 at the same time. So you can see how it goes. Um, overall, <laughs> so don't make the same mistake I made. So look at this one, because it's not totally dry. Probably I put too much water in here. And that's what I talk about. Like, I don't, you know, you don't want it to be too dry when, I mean, too wet when you are doing it. Okay, so let me just put them in order and then I'm going to show you and uh, you can see the color. Overall, I like this set because it is really vibrant if you look at this gold. Okay, when it's dry, I think you can see it a little bit better and the silver and the good thing about them is they are really uh, light fast if you look at the light fastness um, they have five stars I think both of them oh the gold is four and the silver is five and that is really good for those kind of color and those are the whites and one is more transparent than the other the titanium uh, right this is more opaque um, so let me yeah can you still see it no let me put it this way So this is the uh, permanent Chinese white, which is more um, transparent. They have lemon yellow. Oh, they have a lot of different yellows, and you can see that all of them are a little bit different, which I really appreciate. Um, so after I'm done, I'm going to put it in my binder, right? And then I can look at it. And um, our next video can be like, I just flip through it so then you can see. So let me um, show you the next uh, nine colors. Okay, so here are the next six. I mean, next nine, not six. So look at the color they have. Um, a series of orange and red and all those are really beautiful color and um, I really like this paint you know how um, if you're into watercolor you know how hard it is to mix pink and this is so pretty uh, is a magenta but I feel like it you can really use this for um, like cherry blossom or anything anytime when you need pink so like it this is so good. Um, a lot of them have pretty good light fastness. Uh, some of them have a three, but not the majority. Like the majority of, the, of them are uh, four or five. And um, if uh, you know, if you are into single pigment, um, some of them have mixed pigment, and uh, I was a little bit more concerned about that. You know, just uh, because. Uh, when you are trying to use it in your uh, watercolor, when you are trying to mix certain colors together, um, that may be a little bit um, muddy at the end. But if you are careful about that, that will be good. And uh, another tip that I can give you is I usually um, mark it somewhere on um, you know the side or whatever to indicate that their night fast list is only like three stars. So if I'm using it for something that I want to sell later on or whatever, then I may think twice about using that color. So all those colors are really beautiful. And I um, have shown you some colors, you know, by showing it to you when I was doing it. Um, some of them are pretty unique. And so I'm going to also take a good picture of, uh, you know, all those uh, swatches. I probably will scan them. And then uh, I will uh, put it as like a PDF or whatever down below. Then you can uh, have a link to download it. Oh, <laughs> so this this one is still a little bit wet. Probably put it together too quickly. I really like about uh, like the cobalt turquoise. This is so nice and so unique. The color is so unique, and it is really vibrant. I really like the color. When I swatch it on their card, I don't like it as much just because you know it's not the paper that I normally use. It's not how I usually use it. So I feel like I cannot really see the real color on it. Um, 
So yeah, and as you can see right here, usually I spend a little bit more time um, doing it, but toward the end, I was a little bit like washing through it. Uh, oh no, this is not, those are not the next two. These are the next two. I missed two of them. Um, so, you know, when you are doing it, just take your time. Don't make these kind of mistakes. But, you know, happy accidents, right? I always see it as um, art is art. You don't want it to be perfect, you know, or it can be printed, or, you know, you, you can do other things about it. But art is, by definition, there will be some imperfection, and uh, people are always. You know, you can always go back to your own painting. You can always go back to your own drawings and feel like, oh, that is not good enough. I want to do some more things about it. That is totally normal, and we do that. But um, we have to call it done at some point, right? So don't beat yourself up, especially at this time, right, uh, when you're just trying to enjoy yourself and try to do something. Just have fun. Just have fun. So since this is the last color, I'm going to, you know, put it here as well. Hope you can see it. Let me move it a little bit. So that is it. Like this is, like I said, the agent. I'm not going to put it there. So I hope you like it. Um, oh, <laughs> I just find out there's one hidden. Hidden treasure. So those are all the colors. Uh, so all together is a 48 set, but there are like there is one that is not really like a color, so 47. Uh, but it's still like um, really nice. And if you look at this palette, I like uh, using ceramic palettes just because um, the color uh, is easier for you to see first of all, and it's easier for you to pick up. Uh, and people have said that if you have uh, plastic palettes and uh, you know social distance right you don't want to go out and buy anything if you don't need to so you know don't but you can uh, use if you have the uh, magic erasers you can use those uh, to scrub it a little bit and that will work as well so that's what I've heard so um, I'm so glad that you can join me on this video um, I'm so glad that you know I I'm honored that you're watching this video. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoy this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, that will help my channel to grow. And uh, if you can subscribe and, and um, click on the bell, you'll get notification next time when I upload my videos. And uh, next one will be uh, flipping through uh, the binder that I have. Maybe. I have one that I recorded already, but I want to address the current situation in this video. Um, and so I may upload this one before I upload that one. So that may not, that may be the next one. Um, so anyway, like if you click on the bell, you will see it. Uh, the video that I'm talking about is um, a miniature house um, room, I should say, like a bookstore or library kind of thing that I put together or study that I put together and it's really, really cute. And so I made a video of it, like show people around. Um, uh, so I want to show it to you. So if you click on the bell, you will get my notification. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Remember, make the most out of every single day you have. Bye.